hey guys if you want to watch how i made use of these blue bomb shorts to make this purple bomb shirt though in longer length and a different fabric which is crepe keep watching and please if this is your first time stopping by please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like share and subscribe and i hope you enjoy this video so let's let's get right into the video so the first item we're going to be making use of is this beautiful crepe fabric purple in color then we're going to be making use of this satin fabric which is also purple to match with the crepe fabric then we're going to be making use of this zip of zip skirt zip then we're going to be making use of this blue bob shirt which is going to serve as like a guide or like the pattern which i'll use to draft out the bum shorts that we'll be needing then of course i'll be making use of measuring tape making use of chalk and the scissors so the bum shorts as you can see that it has the front side and it has a, the back side so you will notice that the front side is the, the front side is shorter in terms of middle length than the the back side it won't when folded so you fold the back side Pinch, making sure those two points are well pinched together then place it on the crepe fabric then here you can use this as a guide and make use of the desired length you want the length i want is um i want it to be four inches longer than this so you can see the extra even down by at the top part i'm going to add half inch joining allowance to the band for the side the middle section half inch then also which we extended downwards half inch and for the joining at the inside half inch then by the side i'm also going to add one inch joining allowance so make sure you place this material well make sure it's well flattened so that you don't make any errors make sure you're marking on half inch i know how to eyeball my half inch that's why i'm not making use of measuring tape but please if you don't know how to make you to be able to use your eyes to determine half inch or one inch please use your measuring tape to do that so i'm going to fold the up part a little in so i'm going to be able to determine the half inch and then i mark one inch all the way down then from this point which is the the center that i'm going to go i'm going to mark four inches downwards plus half inch which will be used to be joined with the satin inside so which is four and a half inches then i'm going to mark a straight line please make use of a ruler please always make use of a ruler so you don't make mistake and don't forget to add um extra half inch at the sides that's go out by half half inch to be able to get your that leg which is a uh, one inch that to so that you once you sew it back you would have taken back the that leg you have you initially crafted out so i'm going if you see that at, at this upper part you go out by one inch instead of half inch so when you sew it's going to be half inch same this side you're going to go out by 1.5 inch instead of the one inch allowance so that when you sew back on the dark leg it's going to go back to one inch when you sew then the next step or uh, what i want to also remind you is that i made use of the exact dark leg that was used here for the back is four inches dark leg so you can see i've already done all my markings so i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and then we are going to cut out the place the front for cutting so now there's the front remember to always pinch so you don't make a mistake so after you've done that then remember you're going to mark um five, half inch journey allowance to the band then you're also going to mark the dart half inches at the side which is going to be joined together then i'm going to mark and go down by four inches four and a half inches just like i did for the back then i'm going to also mark half um one inch for the side then i'm also going to add 
half in join allowance i remember that there's a dart to this which i also want to add so the top part instead of adding half inch i'm going to add one inch and join to the half then same thing for this side instead of marking one inch at the beginning side i'm going to mark 1.5 inch and i'm going to connect it down then cut out so this is it and i've already marked the front side so i'll i'll make a mistake the next thing is to cut the band so i'm going this is the front band i'm going to place this sideways then place it making sure it the tip touches the front because there's no joining at the center part then i'm going to go up by after i'm making sure it's it matches together go up by half inch go down by half inch also joining allowance i just need one piece of this for one side of the fabric i'm cutting if it's the crepe one piece for the crepe one piece for the lining same thing with what i'm going to do for the back so i'm going to mark half inch upwards one inch for the side same thing as the allowance for the down then same thing i'm going to do so i'm going to ma i mark the marking of the band is 1.5 inches so 1.5 plus half going up and half coming down is 2.5 inches so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to cut it out please don't forget to indicate the front the back so you don't make mistake so i always advise that so next thing is the back i'm going to add half inches for the back which is going to be joined into the zipper side then i will place it and you know that it's going to be cut out into two because it's a middle side so i'm after doing i'm going to place that then i'm going to mark half inch going up then one inch for the side then half inch for the zipper side and one inch for the down which up for up to down is also a total of 2.5 inches just like how it was for the front pieces so the only difference is that this one is going to also be divided into two please mark the zipper side so you don't make a mistake and also write that this is um the band so this so this is the front the pocket i'm working with as you can see i came down by one inch and i'm going to measure this or the pocket and i'm going to place it on the sample of front drafted pattern so i can cut it out on the satin because i'm going to make use of satin for the pocket so i place the material flat on and to use my hand to just feel and also measure out to be sure of how the pocket is so these are my cut out pattern pieces the front the back and the band of the lining which i'm going to make use of to cut out the crepe fabric so i'm going to replicate this on the crepe fabric So you can see i already cut out this sample and this is the back piece so what i'm also going to tell you to do is to raise your lining pieces by half inch upwards this is going to help so when you join that to the scrap fabric then it's going to make there's this um inside is going to be lifted up so that in a situation where if you're walking no one is going to be seeing the inside of the lining it's going to make sure that the lining is well concealed inside so do this for both the front and the back of the satin or lining fabric so now you can see i've already traced out the pocket for the front i came down by 11 inches and i went by the side by six inches so it's going to your hand is going to fit perfectly inside the pocket so you make sure that you're going to as you trace this out you cut two pieces each that's going to be four in total one does one two two for one side two for the other side and this is going to be placed towards the front so now you can see i have cut out both the band and i've cut out the front i've cut out the pockets i've cut out the the fabric pieces and everything is ready so let's i'll be showing you this 
step-by-step -step process in which you're going to cut and sew on the sewing machine now the first thing i have done is to join the pockets together i joined it by the side you, you make sure you're joining just the the side that's going to be on the inside the one where not the place you're going to be putting your hand through the other side then i've already gone ahead to join the darts i've closed up all the darts closed up the line but that for the satin and the crepe so i'm going to go on to the next step so the next step is to join the front the front two sides together and the and the lining of the front two sides together close it up from up down on the half inch making sure that you iron afterwards then the same thing you're going to do for the back piece but you're going to make sure you also add your zipper allowance don't sew up onto where your zipper allowance is just um you leave space of like just measure depending on the zip you're using so i went down by six inches for my own because they have a shorter zipper allowance then i sewed the rest together and i ironed it open so i also joined the band together i joined the back crepe to the back satin for both sides then i joined the front crepe to the back of the satin if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you then all the pieces are ready so next thing i'm going to do now is to take the back band join together and then i'm also going to attach the zip so then the front i'm going to match that up together with the front and keep that one side i've gone ahead and attached the zip by attaching the back crepe to the crepe side and the satin to the satin side and attach the zip properly if you want me to teach you how to attach your zip properly leave me a comment and i'll work on that you can see how beautiful the seams are aligning i love my seams aligning properly so i get on my front pattern pieces so i'm going to also get on my pocket to attach the pocket but i'm going to get out the pocket then i'm going to close up the down part of this pocket side i'll go up by four inches sew it down as i've sewn it down i'll go up and i also come sew down by one inch inch so after doing that i'm also going to get out my the main fabric itself and i'm going to close it also by one inch that's the front of the fabric to the front of the fabric of the crepe then i'm going to open it and place it let both of them kiss each other this is how you attach the pocket so it comes out neatly the parts that are already sewn together or joined together then you open the part that is now opened you sew it down to the front part of the pocket and you also sew the other one at the back to the back part of the of the pocket side sewing down on the allowance i made a little mistake here but i created myself later if you added one inch zipper one inch allowance you place that pocket at that one inch allowance side making sure that you're you're sewing on your allowance side please sew on your allowance side so you don't add more fabric to yourself then i slow stitch down the pocket inside so it's not going to be pulling out or pulling in you see i said nice stitch stitch mark i did very close to the satin side then you can see how beautiful it is i attach this once you attach the pocket then you open it and you sew all the way straight down on that one inch allowance which you added then you can see how beautiful i have attached this pocket so the next step you're going to do now is to attach the back of the lining and the front of the lining piece to the back you're going to start leaving half inch downwards where you're going to attach the band for the front then you sew up down making sure you're sewing on the one inch allowance then you're also going to sew come down by half inch which is going to be the joining to the band then you sew from up down on the one inch allowance so i have done that then the next thing is to f next thing is to take out the the lining part then i'm going to join the center of it making sure the two the front and the back 
this part that was joined making sure it matches together you can place the pin there so you make sure you're not making a mistake and so on half inch from the upside to the downside of that part i'm also going to do the same thing for the crepe fabric so as i joined i noticed that there were uh, i went i made an error in the cutting so there's a little excess fabric so it's not a problem i just go ahead and trim it off as far as i make sure that everything is joined properly i'll do the same thing for the both the satin and i'll do the same thing for the the, the fabric piece also going to join it and trim off the excess So the next step I'm going to take is after I'm going to flip it in after I must have joined it then I'll flip it to the outer part once I have done that then I'm going to arrange it properly as you can see then I'm going to place it at the front placing it at the front I'm going to put my hand inside raising on towards the lining part then I'll pick up the lining and the satin and the crepe fabric together place it fabric to fabric that's the front part of the fabric to the front part of the this um lining and i'm going to sew round i'll do this for both parts as you can see it is sewn beautifully inside make sure to this merch it merge it very well so merge it very well so that you don't make a mistake so after that i'm going to get out the front band i'm going to place it towards the lining part of the band and then I'm going to sew it neatly from one end to the other end, placing it on the on the outer part. And when I sew it down, I'll raise it up and flip it to the front, as you can see. Then I'm going to join up the sides of the darts. I'll join the back side of the darts to the front side sorry back side of the band to the front side of the band sorry then also do that for the second side once i sew that i'm going to do a quick test face as you can see then because once you close it down you can't you can't make any corrections except you lose it again from the front and then i'm going to carefully place the front piece of the band to the far front of the of the crepe fabric i'm going to sew from the front side i'll sew up until the first dart leg then i will then do for the other side leaving the middle side where the two dart legs the center side open that is the center side i am going to close you're going to sew the, please when sewing this down make sure you're picking also the pockets if you didn't join the pocket the head part of the pocket to the main fabric please make sure you join that down so you don't get you don't um it doesn't keep fly inside more or less so i'll sew that and then i'll show you what it looks like so i've done that you can see what it looks like so you can still see pieces of thread that i did from the pocket i am going to i'm going to handle that you can i also forgot to stage you can iron down or at this stage if you want it um crepes so you can see what you're joining actual advice to iron but i wasn't disposed to iron at this exact time i was shooting the video so you can see i'm um holding it down properly and pinning it so that i am going to sew at exact line i want to sew because i didn't iron properly so you do that and i'm going to stitch the center side closed so now you can see this is the beautiful outcome of this outfit i this is the first time of me doing something like this and i totally love the outcome i is on my on my body it fits like a glove it's beautiful i advise you to go ahead and give this a try thank you for watching bye